If we wish to make the logo and the text stand out more from its photographic background, then we can add a layer adjustment. So I'm going to left click on the background layer because that's the layer that we wish to make changes to. When we add an adjustment layer, it only affects items below it in the stack. I'll go to the adjustments panel, middle row, center icon called curves. Left click on that and then we're presented with this rather scary looking graph. Now what you are meant to do is to guesstimate which region of the image you want to brighten and darken. So if I was going to take a guess, I'd say somewhere around the middle of here, I'd left click and that adds a point. You click and drag and that brightens that region of the image. And then you could drag it downwards and you could darken that region of the image. But it's a little hit and miss. So I'm going to choose to reset and instead go to the target adjustment tool. What I'd like to do is darken the, this region of the image down where we've got some of the darker greens. I'll hover over this region, click and hold down the left mouse button. If I drag up now, you'll notice in the graph, it is in a different area. If I drag down, I can darken that region of the image. Now you won't need to do too much with this tool to have quite an impact. And it's around this region here where we've made the biggest impact. It does affect the image overall slightly but the bulk of the edit is centered around where you click and drag. Now, as with brightness contrast that we saw in a previous video, uh, curves alter not only the luminosity, the brightness of an image, but also intensify colors. And we don't want to do that. So I'm going to head up to the blend mode menu in the layers panel and change the blending mode to luminosity. So it affects the brightness of the image, but not the colors of that background photograph. That was before and that's after. So a subtle change that can really help make things like text stand out and that's with curves.